what's up you guys have you guys been keeping up with the possibility of us going on a strike that's right the ports may go on strike tonight at midnight if they do not come to some sort of agreement 45,000 dock workers is all but certain to begin at midnight this is from texas to maine from my understanding and do you understand the magnitude of this what this could absolutely affect i mean everything everything such a huge part of our survival system for the things that we need on an everyday basis is brought in you know on these uh shipping containers at the ports the union representative I'm sorry, the union representing U.S. dock workers has signaled that 45,000 members will walk off the job at midnight, kicking off a massive strike likely to shut down ports across the east and Gulf Coast. The coming work stoppage threatens to significantly snarl the nation's supply chain, potentially leading to higher prices and delays for households and businesses if it drags on for weeks. That's because the strike by members of the International Longshores Association could cause 36 ports, which handle roughly half the goods shipped into the into and out of the U.S. to shutter operations. They are saying that if we shut down for even a week, if we are shut down for even a week, oh, the the stockpile, the backup, the insanity that could occur is like unimaginable. Y'all think that COVID was bad? Who child? It says the ocean carriers represented by USMX want to enjoy rich billion dollar profits that they are making in 2024 while they offer our longshore workers an unacceptable wage package that we reject. ILA said in a prepared statement that longshore workers deserve to be compensated for the important work they do, keeping America commerce moving and growing. And I agree. Get them their money. It's always money, ain't it? It's always money. It says also accuses the shippers of gouging their customers with sizable price increases for containers over recent weeks. The union said that this will result in increased costs of American consumers. The Associated Press reached out to U.S. MX spokesperson for comment. If drawn out, the strike would force businesses to pay shippers for delays and cause some goods to arrive late for peak holiday shop. That's right. Y'all, Thanksgiving and Christmas is around the corner for those that celebrate the holidays. Oh, my God. Everything from Christmas trees to toys to cars, coffee, vegetables. Woo. If the strike go ahead, they will cause enormous delays across the supply chain. A ripple effect will no doubt roll into 2025 and cause chaos across the industry. Noted by Jay Dakota, founder of the supply chain management and logistics firm Pro3PL. Dakota added that the East Coast ports aren't the only ones at risk for disruption as concern leading up to strike has always diverted many shipments out west, adding to the route, congestion, and more pressure on demand. Impacts will also be felt internationally, particularly in places like the United Kingdom, he said, where the U.S. is its largest trading partner. What about China? It got me thinking about China. The coming strike by LA, ILA workers set to impact ports from Maine to Texas will be the first by the union since 1977. West Coast dock workers belong to a different union and are involved in the strike. If the strike were deemed a danger to U.S. economic health, President Joe Biden could, under the 1947 Taft-Harley Act, seek a court order for an 80-day cooling-off period. This would suspend the strike. You think he's going to do that? All eyes are on what... If any action the administration might take, particularly just weeks ahead of the tight presidential election, there's always some stuff going on around a presidential election. But Biden has signaled that he will not exercise his power. Now, Biden, I don't know how I feel about that, sir. During an exchange with reporters on Sunday, Biden said no when asked if he plans to intervene in the potential work stoppage because it's collective bargaining. I don't believe in Taft Harley, Biden said, referring to a 1947 law that allows the president to intervene in labor disputes that threaten the nation's health or safety. Well, why not? We stay getting in the business of the people that ain't got nothing to do with us while we ain't getting in our own business. Woo! How y'all feel about this? What do y'all think? I remember when we had toilet paper and face masks and gloves. 
oh, this is going to be hor-. Like, just think about the things that you have in your home with the labels China on there. How many things do we have imported? I didn't even know that I think it's Baltimore. Is it Baltimore? I didn't even know that Baltimore is like the port where all the fruit comes into and that they get like 80 tons of bananas. I'm making up a number, but it's a lot. It's like where everybody get their bananas from. What are we going to do without the bananas? This is not funny, but at the same time, like, what are we going to do? What do y'all think of what's going through your head? Oh my gosh.